हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सब पोर्टल ट्रेनिंग डेमो सो वी आर प्लानिंग टू गिव यू ए ट्रेनिंग ऑन द सब पोर्टल दिस ट्रेनिंग बेसिकली विल बी फॉर डेवलपर बिकॉज इन दिस ट्रेनिंग विल कोट आवर विजेट्स एंड विल डीप डाइविंग ऑन द विजेट्स बिकॉज विल डू लॉट ऑफ कोडिंग इन दैट widgets will completely build a new portals and i uh, will build all those things from the scratch um we started from that we will start from the html bootstrap and uh, all those although those will be a basics because we cannot cover all those things and this training duration will be 10 to 12 days and approximate 15 to 20 hours we'll try to cover all those things so let me introduce myself Uh, I am Rohit Rohit Kumar. Four years experience in service now and six years experience in IT uh, IT industry. So, what are the topic we'll cover in this portal? So, first thing uh, before we are going to um, service portal training, uh, maybe you have the lot of questions that why the service now introduce the service portal because we already have that ITSM from where. the user can search the incident open the incident and change the open the change and whatever the things they want they can do so the service portal basically for the end user so that end user can uh, quickly get all this informations uh, whatever your client want to represent them so you cannot trend all the end user to go to that your idsm view and tap the in the left navigation my incident something like that so to give the flavor of the website like a, to build type a website we provide the service portal so that user can quickly click any of those widgets or any of the links to get their options so uh, also you can ask me that previously also there was a uh, uh, site called content manage concept called content management cms from where uh, user can uh, mostly end user use those cms to get their informations it's also type a website it, it's not a website it looks like a web similar types of portal website uh, that was replaced by the service portal in the service now so why the service portal uh, uh, replace that cms because the cms does not support the angular js and the bootstrap by default you need to enforce them so as the, the service portal supported bootstrap it is mobile friendly so anyone can open your portal from the mobile and they can get the same flavor of that portals in a different manner in the mobile view so now they can end user can access the service now in the mobile as a portal format along with that uh it is as it is used the angular js so it will be quick and more flexible and it will be real time so if anything happens in your back end it will automatically refresh in your page and it will came up in your page you don't need to refresh the portal okay uh let me go to that our instance and we'll check all those things one by one this is our madrid instance uh madrid instance in service now to access this service now uh, module you have to type the service portal and you will get this module service portal module if you are admin then you can definitely access this service portal module or if you are sp underscore admin role service portal underscore admin then also you can access this module so to build the service portal uh, you need sp underscore admin or admin role so in this training we'll cover the new we'll create a new portal we'll create a new page we'll create a new widgets all those things will be new and then will uh, mm, build our complex widgets and will do one by one so how we can communicate from one widget to one another widget from html how we can call the server side script how we can call the client side script all those things will cover so before that let's go to that portals uh, that is provided by service now and 
see what are the things service now provided by default so if you see the first module service portal home that is uh, the actual service now home page and this portal is by default provided by service now in this portals you can see the service now gives you a uh, header uh, along with the header menu knowledge cat, uh, catalog request request status cart tour and thus your profile so and uh, this is your portal uh, completely out of box so you can ask me that why we need that uh, development because already we have that portal so if you see there is a current status widget share that current status is give you that system status if any issues happens but it does not useful for the end user a lot of people does not use that uh, this community so they are, that is not useful for them if you see that my open incident it is giving you the long list of the incident and the page will increase for this pages increases for this widget so those are the things and also if you want to represent something else uh, apart from those things you definitely need to modify if you want to change the color if you want to change the header menu if you want to give the access those things will be different so uh, for that you need to uh, develop the service portal you need to know that uh, development and then that flavor will get the end user so let's go to that uh, portal configuration from here you can configure a lot of things without any coding so in the in the second module you see uh, the after the portal home page i click the service portal configuration so in the configuration module uh, we have the branding editor designer page editor widget editor new portal and help so this six module we are getting the branding editor using that we can change our portal configuration so let's see how it looks like so if i click the branding editor i will navigate to that one branding editor for the today we'll uh, we'll basically discuss that uh, the configuration part because I don't want to deep dive on that widget part and start coding on the first day. So we'll start that um, the basic part and then we'll discuss the basic HTML, bootstrap and all those things. And then we'll move, create the widgets, we'll create the page and we'll start coding on the widget part. So this is your branding editor. Here in the top, you can search the portal names. By default, I'm, I'm start, I'm, modifying that service portal uh, default portals so here you don't need to code anything it's automatically uh, configurable and it's responsive for the example the portal title we can modify if i type the portal title new you won't be see this uh, changes because this is coming from the top uh, like here uh, and this is the logo where you can change this logo if you see there is a also a logo padding in that left side if you remove reduce that you can see that the gap between this service now will be reduced Uh, it is coming uh, it will take some time because it's a real time whenever you change something it's reflect on your page you can see the padding will remove then you can also see that there is also left side and top side so the top side the padding is zero or i think two the padding is two so that's why there is a padding between top you can uh, change that top padding this is your help i mean tagline how can we help you can change something like uh, anything which is you are seeing and this is completely uh, without any coding you can do those things you can see it's it can be changed 
in your tagline color this um, white color you can also change the color um, from white to the gray I think color is changed but we cannot see you can choose something different color and you will see that see the color is changed without any coding changes next thing is that you can change the background color um, so I am making this to white and background color to be something like uh, this color so I changed the background color so see the background color also changed all right and also you can change this background image by changing this upload image you can change these images so let me quickly choose the white and it will be automatically changed also there is a reset change option so you can click definitely anytime to change that um, to reset that changes whatever you have done if you go to the theme color uh, this is the theme color where you can change the nav bar you can see that in the top section this is this service now this section is nav bar so nav bar background is black you can change any color like um, this color it will be change nav bar also change now if you see there is a small divider between this uh, nav bar to the main page this uh, link means this color also be changed currently it is uh, this color but you can choose any color like uh, red See the color is changed now if you want if you see uh, whenever we are the neighbor uh, this uh, link color is in the gray you can change this color to uh, like blue so this color will be changed so if you see those things are not uh, like uh, coding required you can definitely change those things without uh, doing any coding but in the deep uh, deep part of this session will do ac actual coding so firstly we will try to cover all those configuration part and then we'll go back to that deep coding part so if you see the hover color also you can change like if you change this color I think this one also will be changed so if you see there is color changes so page background currently in white you can change this background to um, gray color so that the page color will be changed to the gray background color see it's automatically changed and also every um, uh, section the every panel does not have any color because of white so you can change this color to something else and you will see this uh, every widget background color will be changed the panel background color will be changed see the panel color is getting changed and also the buttons those color also can be changed so this is how we can configure those things using the branding editor I am clicking the reset changes I believe it should uh, it should set the previous value because I have not saved anything yeah it's saved to the previous value now um, this is the branding editor let's talk about the something like uh, in the service now SP configuration let's talk about some other things we have we have the designer where you can uh, create a page can add the content or you can modify whatever content it's already present what are the page already present 
so this is our uh, designer module in this designer module you can see it's already have lot of pages which are the service now by default pages uh, you cannot modify those pages but you can definitely create one new page and this page can be the test for you and click submit you can create a page so we created one test page and here we can add the container so if we click the plus sign you will see the 12 digit 6699 so every column if you count you have that 12 if you count I means every row we have 12 so the first row we have 12 second row we have two column but the total count is 6 plus 6 12 in the second time if you see we have two two column but the count is 3 plus 9 12 because even the lower part if you see we have uh, six columns and the total summation of these things is a 12 because 2 plus 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 total 12 because bootstrap uh, know the uh, maintain the 12 grid system it means that whatever your screen size will be the bootstrap automatically uh, based on the screen size it will divide it in the 12 part and then it will represent in the 12 um, digits so like if i choose the 12 here whenever i will open this page i will able to see that page uh, this content in a 12 digit means it will be in the full screen but if i choose something container called 66 six, so like this one so what will be happen here i can add one widget and here i can add the another widgets so the screen will be divided for the two widgets one widget will have that um, one in the left side will be one widget and the right side will be one widget another widget so whenever you will open the in the mobile view you will also able to see the same things because as you maintaining that we are maintaining the grid system the bootstrap grid system system will automatically detect the mobile size and it will divide it in two parts in that mobile uh, for two it will be divided into two widgets and this part will be divided into two widgets so in the page editor we will so with page designer will we created one page and we can drag any widgets we have already like i can drag any widgets and that page will represent that widgets so i can drag these widgets here and here you see so now it is divided in two part and this part have that one sections so that's it for today uh, we'll uh, cover all those things one by one in our next sessions uh, we'll first create a complete new pages we'll first create a new portals from these page configurations so we'll create a new portals from here we'll create a new page and we'll create a new widgets and we'll start from the scratch uh, to develop and to help the developer so this was our uh, demo training sessions um, so we'll continue i uh, will touch base with, with you uh, if you need complete training uh, for the developers training uh, for the service portal you can uh, ping me in the whatsapp uh, the number will be given in the below description box in the video uh, and and after complete the training maybe uh, you can start working on that industrial level in that service portal so ping me in the whatsapp thank you very much for watching this video bye bye